we're hearing from neighbors for the first time who say this is not how they want their neighborhood to be remembered. Others saying that they haven't seen the girl, the 14 year old girl outside in years. Now we do want to add some of the details in this story may be upsetting for some viewers. The death of a 14 year old girl is sending shock waves through the Morrisvale area. It's stuff like it. People. Yeah, it just uh, ain't right. According to court documents, Boone County deputies went to a home on Cameo Road. Deputies say they found the girl's body on a foam pad in the bathroom, her body emaciated to a skeletal state. Her mother, Julianne Stone Miller, is charged with neglect after her daughter reportedly had an eating disorder, hadn't eaten in months, and her mother allegedly failed to get any medical treatment for more than four years. Me personally, I don't remember seeing her. That's me personally. Uh, I know she's just 14 years old, but I don't ever remember. So I couldn't tell you from the first day I saw her, if I ever saw her. Lawmakers are asking questions too. Could CPS have helped? Could lawmakers have helped? House Bill 4595 did not make it out of a Senate committee this session. It could have allowed members of the West Virginia Department of Human Services to testify to lawmakers about child abuse investigations if called upon. I still think some of the communication issues do persist, and I think they've been very reliant for a number of years on just not answering questions and citing confidentiality uh, restrictions as a reason for doing that. However, I really think that we are well within our, our duty, our realm of our duties, that we should be able to get that information. According to court documents, the grandmother told deputies the girl had not attended school since late 2019 or early 2020. The Boone County Sheriff's Office believes the girl was being homeschooled but was enrolled in public school at one point. According to a statement from a West Virginia Department of Education spokesperson, they say once homeschooled, state code requires that families submit an assessment or portfolio of their child's learnings in grades 3, 5, 8, and 11. If this is not done, the county is required to follow up. You know, we see a lot of things and we deal with a lot of things, you know, but, but uh, sometimes things are pretty rough. The community doesn't want their entire neighborhood to be remembered for this crime. People will they'll jump in and help you, and uh, they, they won't think twice about them. We reached out to the Boone County School District to see if the 14-year-old victim was enrolled in school or why the county did not check on her if she was homeschooled. We have not heard back. Child Protective Services says confidentiality rules prevent them from saying if they have investigated concerns at the home. Live in the studio, Daniel Burbank, Eyewitness News. Thanks so much for watching. Here's another video from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell notification to get the very latest.